Hey, my name is James Nicholson and welcome to my YouTube channel. Interest rates are going up everywhere and we're going to talk about that in this video. What does that mean for us as UK investors and what do we expect from our future interest rate meeting next week? Now, before we jump into that, if you haven't done already, do make sure you subscribe to the channel over here. Go on, do it right now. Subscribe and hit the bell. We nearly got 7,000 subscribers now, which is insane. We're trying to get 100,000 views in October. We're going to hit well over 80,000 in July. So how you can help us get that target is by smashing that like button over there, guys. Go on, before we jump into the content, smash the like button because that will help us with the YouTube algorithm. So what is going on? Well, first off, the Federal Reserve went on Wednesday. So that's the American Central Bank and they raised their interest rates. This was kind of expected uh, and they went from 5.25% up to 5.5%. Now, why did they do that? Because America is really got on top of its inflation and is doing one of the best on inflation in the whole world. America's inflation currently sits at 3%. However, the Fed is nervous and they are really worried about in inflation coming back. And so they wanna make sure that it's really clear that their policy is to curb that inflation first and foremost. And so it's still not at their target. Their target is at 2%. They expect that it will get to 2% within 12 months, but they're not so worried about it getting down to 2%. Ideally, that is what would happen, but they're more worried about it creeping up again. And so <clears throat> that's why they've made the decision to put a quarter of a percent up. And they indicated that this could be like not the last rise that we see with interest rates on that side of the pond. So that's really interesting to see. And what we see in the UK is that there's a phrase that I use in my videos that's common phrase used is that we follow the Fed. We often do what the Federal Reserve do. So our rates are at 5%. We're not likely to go up to 55 straight away. But it's widely expected if you read all the market news that we're going to go up by a quarter of a percent as well. So we will follow the Fed, as they say, next week when we have our turn. So who else has raised interest rates? Well, the European Central Bank as well. They are uh, at their highest ever interest rate. Obviously, the European Central Bank is slightly newer than the Fed and the, and the Bank of England, for sure. So they went from 4% to 4.25%. And again, in Europe, inflation is way lower than it is in the UK. We're at 7.9%. Europe has quite a few places now that are lower than 5% or there or thereabouts. So they're significantly doing better than us, yet they're still putting their interest rates up because again, all of these countries are massively concerned that inflation will either return or just be even more stubborn than we might think. And stuff's happening in the world. Um, I don't know how much this is going to impact inflation, but I can't imagine it was going to be good for it. Uh, Russia has a trade embargo. They're not letting the wheat go out of Ukraine to Africa and countries like that. That means worldwide prices on wheat are shooting through the roof. Uh, so countries that are reliant on wheat, they're going to have a bit of a shock, aren't they? And so that could uh, push inflation again and hopefully not in the UK, but it's possible, isn't it? So next week, I think it's August the 4th, and um, the UK has their Bank of England meeting, and we're at 5%. And so what we're expecting is that we'll go to five and a quarter percent. That's what's expected. And the Bank of England kind of leak a little bit of information because they want the stock market to not have a shock and prepare and get ready for what they're expecting to push through. So we're looking at a quarter of a percent. Now, does that necessarily mean that interest rates will go up, as in your interest rate that you borrow on? Not necessarily. So this will be the 14th consecutive interest rate rise that we've seen. 
And that's a lot. <laughs> that's been going on a hell of a long time now, hasn't it? Uh, so more than a year of interest rate rises. And that's 14 in a row that we'll have seen by that point. But not all of these interest rate rises caused lenders to add that bit on top. Sometimes even with their variable rates, they didn't do that. And we don't know for sure what's going to happen. No one has a crystal ball. Banks can do what they want to do, really. But they are starting to try and get a bit more competitive. So this week we saw HSBC actually reduced their rate. They know the Bank of England base rate goes up next week. They're not living in a cave. They understand more data than anyone does. Not, I don't know as much as HSBC does, and neither do you. And so they are lowering their rates to try and get a bit more competitive in the market because at the end of the day, lenders need to lend. That's when they make their money is with fees, with interest. And if they can't lend, they can't make money. And so potentially, hopefully, and this could be a good news, is that if we do get that rise next week, which I'm sure we will, we might not see that passed on to lenders. And so that is a good situation that we can be in. Some lenders will, some lenders won't, but that's what we wanna be keeping an eye out for next week. So what do you think is gonna happen? Tell me in the comments below. There's a lot to discuss in this. So first off, where do you think the Federal Reserve are gonna end up with their interest rates? So they're at five and a half percent now. Do you think they're gonna go up any more considering they're at three percent inflation? Let me know in the comments below. European Union, they're at around 5%, as in inflation, and their rates are at four and a quarter percent. Where do you think that one's gonna go? UK, we're at 7.9% inflation, which is bonkers. Um, it's really bad that we're doing so badly compared to everybody else. And we're gonna be at five and a quarter percent. Where do you ultimately think interest rates end up in all of those regions? Do comment below, I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions. And do you think that lenders are going to pass this on to borrowers? Do you think they're going to pass this on? I'll tell you one thing that they probably won't do, because they only did it kicking and screaming recently, is I don't think that they're going to pass it on to savers that quickly. And that isn't the way it's meant to work. They're meant to pass that on to savers. But again, they're profit-making machines. Um, do you think this will go on to savers? Do you think ISAs and stuff like that will start benefiting from really decent returns on interest rates? Or do you think they're going to keep it to themselves? It's an interesting time. Um, I personally think that the Bank of England are going to raise to five and a quarter percent. I think they'll get to five and a half percent maybe the next month. And I think then we'll have a pause. And so I think that will happen. So those are the next three meetings that I'm expecting. Quarter of a percent quarter of a percent pause. We've had a pause in America. We haven't had that yet. So I think the inflation will come down to a better figure. I don't think it will be good enough. It will come down to a better number, maybe 6%, something like that. And then the bank might pause because these interest rate rises, they have such a lag. So when they increase the interest rate, no, not many people's mortgage goes up straight away. They're trying to suppress money and spending but if you're on a five-year fixed and you haven't got a credit card, it's not really going to impact you straight away. So that's my thoughts anyway. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do like the video and do subscribe to the channel. Check out all the other content on my channel, including this video right here.